Hello kittens! Silver here with Kita, the Akita by Douglas Cuddle Toys and today I had an unexpected package arrive at my doorstep which I was not at all expecting. I didn't have any sort of update that this was even out for delivery so uh, this sort of threw me for a loop and that is why it is already open because uh, I had no idea what was going to be inside and as it turned out it is in fact a stuffed animal but I was very eager to get this unboxing done with ASAP because Amazon sometimes has a tendency to really shrink their shrink wrap their plush to such an extreme length and um, that seems to be the case with this particular guy so I'm really really eager to get him out of his vacuum sealed package here um, because he is encased like a sausage right now so um, I kind of got a little bit of a sneak peek but not not all that much on um, this poor guy is gonna be so twisted <laughs> and just uh, hopefully not too deformed from being in this tight bag but um, oh gosh <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at how his neck is just completely just twisted over to one side. That is not how it's supposed to be. Oh, the poor baby. So this is actually going to be a Shiba Inu plush. Um, one that I've had my eye on for a while since uh, it's the only Shiba Inu that Douglas has released thus far. Um, so let me just free this poor baby. I'll probably need a scissor because it looks... Oh my goodness, poor guy. Okay, yeah, let me just get my scissor out and try to quickly free him. Okay, that should do it. Just a little more. Yeah, you know what, it's so tight, I think I'm just gonna have to pause it because <laughs> this is gonna require two hands, I can tell. So let me just pause. Okay, here we go. That should that should be enough. Here we go. Oh, my poor boy. Oh, he's gonna have all kind of spinal misalignment because of this. But you know what? He actually seemed to unfold quite readily, so that's that's a positive. Oh wow, he's really actually very sturdily built. Um, quite like um, Kita here. He might even be a little bit taller than Kita. So let's let's see. So yeah, he is a little bit. His head is a little bit twisted just because of that awkward position that he was put in. But here is Dunham, the Akita. And wow, what a cute face this little sweetheart has. Look at his eyes. I love the fact that they have that kind of winged look because of the airbrushing. Such a pretty, pretty face. Oh, he's so perfect. Oh, my poor boy, though. I <laughs> I feel like he's going to need like a deep tissue massage after, after the trauma that he went through. Oh, he's so cute, though. That's one of the things with, with Douglas. It's really hard to get a, a Douglas with a bad face. Um, they, they just, there's so much um, detail and, and just kind of, um, I don't know, just the way that they proportion their faces is just so perfect I just absolutely love them um, and this guy is a pretty good size even he's actually a little bit taller than my Kita which I did not expect um, I do also have an earlier version of Kita so I think the earlier one is a little bit smaller not quite as high but look he uh, he definitely uh, has some extra a, a few extra inches on Kita so I was surprised I thought he was going to be a little bit smaller than that um, and his fur is super, super soft. And he is obviously um, stuffed firmly enough that he can stand on all fours, but not so firmly that he's not cuddly or, or squishy. So yeah, his legs his legs are pretty, pretty firmly stuffed. I, yeah, I would say even the front legs feel like they might be stuffed a little bit more than the back legs. Um, but... But yeah, he's not super flexible in terms of being able to sit or lay. He's he's really meant to be a standing dog for the most part. Um, I just love his face, though. It's so cute and so, so different from any other dog breed that, uh, that uh, Douglas has done, I think. Um, I mean, they all do share certain characteristics, um, but this one in particular, just, just something about the, the shape of the face and the muzzle is 
is quite unique, I think. And he has the nice black leatherette nose and a little hand threaded mouth. Super cute. Which I think, now that I think of it, a lot of the uh, Douglas dogs don't really have a very visible mouth or um, like a threaded mouth like this. A few do, but, um, but Dunham is one of the exceptions. So let's take a look at his tush tag as well. And I also, I love the, uh, the curled up tail on the back, the way it kind of, um, you know, it kind of goes over the top his, of his back and, and curls that way, um, which is very similar to Kita's actually. They have that kind of nice little twist at the end. So let's take a look at Dunham's tag here. So oh, here we go. Dunham Shiba Inu. I think that's the uh, correct pronunciation. It looks like Dunham, but I, I'm pretty sure the, the proper way to pronounce that is Dunham. And I love the coloring as well. He's got that sort of nice um, kind of reddish tan coat with the, uh, the white face and the white chest. And then the little white feet and belly. Super cute. Very, uh, He's sort of ginger adjacent, I would say, which um, <laughs> if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know how much I love my ginger dogs. And I really like the uh, the way the fur is cut here. It almost looks sort of like a, a little bit like an M on the forehead. And you could see the, uh, the fur on the inside of the ears is a slightly uh, different color, like a, like a nice light beige. Really beautiful plush, though. I'm just really glad that he's free of his constraints now, and uh, you know he's not so stuffed and encased in such a torturous way in that bag anymore. So <laughs> we're gonna have to make sure that he has room to to stretch and play and and get back to his uh, his original shape again. So anyway, that was Dunham. Thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye, everybody.